can I? Because she's pregnant. What the fuck that got to do with me? Because it's yours. What's up, Power Vans on YouTube? It's a boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. I'm sorry I've been off since episode two and three. I lost my dad just last week, and it's been a hell of a week for me, but I know you guys understand now why I couldn't review episode two and three. My apologies, everything happened very fast, but I'm doing better now. Rest in peace to my dad. And now back to Power. In this video, I'll be talking about episode four of Power Book Two, Ghost Season Four. Is Tariq ready for fatherhood and will he be a good father than Ghost? Also, the role of Tariq in the Tahada's family moving forward and how he'll use Norman's daughter to control her. And I'll also talk about whether or not Kane is becoming softer or harder. And of course, if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's get straight into the topics. I believe most of us predicted the baby will be Tariq since he was the last person to go down with Diana. Safe to say that this pregnancy changed a whole lot of things in this episode, making Diana and Drew survive again. I believe they would have died had it not been the pregnancy which was identified by their auntie earlier. I can say that information came at the right time. So now that we know the heat is off Drew and Diana's back, let's talk about what is coming which is the fatherhood future for Tariq. We all know Diana always wanted out of the game but some way somehow situations keep bringing her back in. Right now Diana doesn't have much of a choice anymore than to permanently remain in the game since she can't really continue school with her pregnancy until she delivers. And if I'm not mistaken, Diana's situation will become that of Tasha, where motherhood will restrict her from pursuing some dreams and she will potentially resort to getting deeper into the game just like Tasha. Now, big question is, is Tariq ready or capable of becoming a good father? Will he do better than Ghost? Clearly, the shock on Tariq's face alone when he heard Diana is carrying his baby shows that he isn't in any good position to become a father. And I think Tariq needs some time to reflect on what is ahead of him and how he's going to protect his child from all these dangers surrounding him, especially considering the family the baby is coming from. In as much as there is a baby on the way, I don't think Tariq is ready for fatherhood. We all saw how he couldn't even take care of his little sister for a day because of his extracurricular activities. Now, as to if Diana can be a good mother, it will depend on where she wants to raise her child. Diana can only be a good mother if she moves away from her family, away from all the game. We can give Tariq some credit to do anything to protect Diana and the baby under the circumstances, but it takes a lot more than protection to be a great father. Ghost tried his best to be a good father to Tariq by keeping him out of this life, but we all know how it all ended. Now, will Tariq be like Ghost moving forward? Yes, I think Tariq is going to now reflect on everything Ghost has been trying to tell him. I also think he's going to adopt some of Ghost's fatherhood strategy that he was trying to use. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Below. Will Tariq be a good father or will he end up worse than Ghost? Moving on, there seem to be some truths between Tariq and the Tahadas. Now, what will be Tariq's role in the Tahada family moving forward? Potentially, Tariq will become a brother-in-law by the birth of him and Diana's child. This will bring him extra closer to the family line than before. Does this mean Tariq is fully welcome into the Tahadas family? I guess not. He will still have Kane's jealousy to deal with, but it might give him some room to bring an opinion on the table because, like it or not, his blood is about to run through that family as well. Then again, would Diana want Tariq anywhere near the baby? Well, after Tariq almost killed her, Diana might give him some tough time, especially with regards to the baby's growth. But let me know what you also think in the comments section below. Now, let's talk about Tariq and Anya. Tariq is playing a very dangerous game by approaching Anya, but as always, Tariq needs some leverage and some contingency plans should Noma catch him dealing again. From my perspective, if Tariq manages to get down with Anya, he can use her to control Norma. Norma loves her daughter to the point that she will do anything to make her happy. And if Tariq is making her happy, then she will have to succumb to some of Tariq's demands. Mind you, Tariq still has a leverage on Norma when it comes to Anya in connection with her father. So I feel Tariq can use the killer of Anya's father to gag Norma at some point. So if Norma catches Tariq dealing and having something to do with her daughter as well, her only option is to allow Tariq to deal with his drug and leave her daughter alone. But approaching Tariq with another war will not be easy for her and her daughter. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Can Tariq use Anya to control Norma? Drop your thoughts 
and let's discuss. Now let's talk about Kane. Question is, is Kane becoming softer or harder? Personally, I don't know why these writers are doing this to Kane, but I think Kane is becoming a softer person day by day. The older Kane will not talk much but allow the triggers to speak. But it looks like Kane has become a motivational speaker lately. I don't know about you, but let me know what you also think when it comes to Kane in the comment section below. Has he become a mama's boy indeed or he is now his own man as he said to Norma? Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, I want to introduce this thing where after every episode we'll get to identify the twist of the episode and the character of the episode just like in football where we have man of the match. The twist of the episode here has to do with which character changed the whole storyline for everyone by their actions. While the character of the episode is the person who fought hard to survive every danger. Finally, the donkey of the episode is someone who was dumb enough in the episode and possibly died in the process. If you are cool with this idea, then we are going to start now from this episode. So to set the ball rolling, if you ask me, the twist of this episode is Diana. Her pregnancy changed everything and a whole lot about the storyline moving forward. And for me, the character of the episode is Drew. The guy escaped death thrice, once from his ruthless mother and twice from his brother Kane. For me, that make Drew the character of the episode. And finally, the donkey of the episode goes to Salim. How on earth will you want to fight Tariq again after quickly giving up Diana's location? Well, drop your twist, character, and donkey of the episode in the comment section if you have other options than the ones I've stated below. And don't forget to add the reason why someone is your twist of the episode or the character of the episode or the donkey of of the episode below and like i stated in my intro i'm sorry i couldn't bring you episode two and three review like i said i lost my dad and it's been a hell of a week for me but gradually and thankfully i'm getting better mentally and physically if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button most importantly leave your thoughts in the comment section catch you in my next video it's your boy nino thanks for watching